Hey guys, today we're working on a Ford F100. The light switch doesn't turn on the dash lights, and I'm sure that the light bulbs in the dash work because I, I took them out and I tried them all out and they all work. So I'm replacing the light switch. The light switch I got is a standard brand. That's what it looks like. Looks just about like the other one. There's a piece of paper in there that says this bracket may be used on some models. I don't remember if it's used on this one. I've taken the dash out and everything before, but um, I don't remember. So, we'll find that out. Obviously, the first step is to actually get the dash cover off. The hardest part of that is getting the wiper switch out. Alright, I find the easiest way to do this is use a little mirror. You can see that little tab right there, right underneath, and I'm going to fiddle around with that and uh, hopefully pull the knob off. Let's see. Stick that in there. Yep. Wah. And you see, it's that tab I was pulling up on right there, and it relieves the pressure, and the whole knob comes off. The next part is to take the light switch knob out, and for that, on the light switch, there's this thing here, and you gotta reach around, and you press down on that, and the light switch pulls out. I'll show you it getting pulled out. Let's see, there we go. Sometimes it takes a little wiggling, but that usually comes right out. So, we've got those two things out. We can take the mirror down. Next, you have to take that screw out there. There's a screw up there. And then, I believe, yeah, there's one supposed to be up there and one right here. I don't think I have one there. I might have one there, but I'm not sure. And then, there's one under the switch right there. And then, there might be some under this thing. This pops out real easily. Those pop off just like that. You just pull on them. Then these little things come off uh, somewhat easily. And then, if I can, without getting my hand in the way, this part pulls off. Yeah, okay. So I believe there's supposed to be two screws there and there. I only have one, but that's okay. So take those screws out next, and then you will... Back here, the air duct will have to unclip off the back of the vent. And then you'll be ready to pull the whole dash out. Fourth, and I believe that's all for me. Yep. So this thing just comes right out. Okay. So, like I said, there's that air duct right there. And then there's wires going to that light bulb there. But then, other than that, we're all good. So, in order to take the light bulb out, you just squeeze those two things together, and it comes right out. And just like that, your dash is off. So now, we can get to taking the light switch out. If I remember correctly, this part right here just unscrews. So, let's grab it with the pliers and see what I can break. Ah, look at that. So, get out of the way. All right, that's what that piece looks like. And it should thread right in here. Yeah, so that should work. Okay. And then, pull this guy out, and he's got a bunch of wires clipped onto him. Here goes nothing. Easy as that. It just pulls right off. So, take the next one, and you take this little wiring harness here. Let me get a better view of that. That's what that plug looks like. 
this should just plug right on into this. So now you know how to take it apart and put it back together. So I'm just gonna quickly put the dash back together. And there you go. It doesn't show up as well on camera as it does in real life, but I can actually see all my gauges now, even though it's dark outside. So that product definitely fixed the problem. So that's fantastic. Well, there you go. Like and subscribe. Leave any comments if you have questions or advice for me. And let me know if there's anything you want to see me do on my truck next. Thanks for watching.